this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And look, look up on the hill, you can see Harrison Hill with the cottage over there, I like that, I like this view, I've got a prettier view now when I start my videos. Anyway, in this video I'm going to be joined, as I pretty much almost always am, by Alpha Lee! Good morning, Lee. If you're in a good mood today, walk sideways around my room like a crab if you're feeling good today. Oh, oh, go, go. <laughs> that's a speedy little crab. Look at him go, jerking all over the place. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling good as well today, so I'm going to do the same. Do, 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 do. Walking sideways like a crab. You like the way you turn your body, you can probably look like you're dancing. <laughs> Ah oh dear. Anyway, do you have my breakfast for me today, Lee? I'm actually very, very hungry today. Do you, have, do, you have, do you have my cake for me? I would go and eat the one behind you, but I know there's been animals jumping all over that one, so I think I'm going to have a fresh new cake and... <gasps> Nom 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 There we go. That that is the way I like to do it. I like eating my cakes whole. <laughs> anyway, we can play the the new fishing rod game if you want. Now, if you didn't see the last video, I got a new game uh, where I got to get my fishing rod and I need to flick it uh, to try and hit one of the the pressure plates that are around here. And as you can see in the last video, I hit the green one, uh, so that one's already pushed up. Uh, but there's a whole load of more ones down here. There's one down there, and I think there's one. Uh, oh no, there's one up there as well. And you're not allowed to jump. You can't jump to get the ones down there. You've got to go like up and try and flick it. And, oh, Esther? Has, has, has Esther fallen down somewhere? I heard I heard the chicken make a noise and then Esther's gone. Has Esther fallen down here somewhere? Esther? Esther? Oh, <laughs> Lee's gone and dropped. Is, is Esther down there? Okay, Esther's gone and dropped down. Do you have any ender pearls, Lee, to, to get back up here? So we've not played the fishing rod game. Okay, right. See if we can land on the balcony. And oh, <laughs> not particularly elegantly done, but you got back here. Anyway, Lee. We can continue the game. You may go first, so uh, you can have the, the first flick of your fishing rod. And which one's he going for? It looks like he's going for the magenta uh, one, which is directly ahead of us. This should be one of the easier ones. And yeah, there we go. Nicely done, Lee. Let's try and get all the easy ones out of the way uh, first then, shall we? I'm going to go for this blue one over here. And if I aim it about here... Oh no, that was supposed to be an easy one as well. I reckon if I was standing here, I would have been able to get it easily. But we're only allowed uh, one go each day. So that's my that's, that's my go already gone. Anyway, uh, let's go and head over to the Love Garden to mention who I'm adding to it. Uh, the Love Garden, if you don't know, if you are very new here, uh, basically at the beginning of all of my videos... And oh, there's a, a zombie growling around here somewhere. Uh, yeah, at the beginning of all of my videos, I go and add someone to it. And where are the zombies? Are the zombies upstairs here? What are you doing in Fred's room? Fred is not going to be best pleased with you coming in here. You haven't messed up any of his favourite blocks, have you? Gah, googlies, I don't know. You allow one googly into your house and they all think they're just allowed to come in whenever they want. This is not a hotel, zombies. <laughs> anyway, today to the Love Garden, I am adding, oh, I'm going to try and pronounce this, Rackquax123. And the reason I'm adding her is because she sent me an animation, and it's a stop motion animation, which means it was made by taking lots of pictures and playing them quickly together. And it's of me and my friends going into the Temple of Cake. And I'm not going to spoil what happens at the end of the video, uh, you're going to have to go and watch it yourself, uh, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but I thought it was amazing, and I wanted to say thank you very much for sending me the video, Raxquax123, and welcome to my love garden. And are you happy because I've added Raxquax to the love garden? In that case, you know what to do when you're happy, Lee. You'll know the new way to show me that you're happy. You need to crab to the side, back and forth. <laughs> oh, dude, that would be funny. Right, here's everyone's challenge. Once you finish this video, for the next hour, everyone can only walk like a crab. You all need to walk sideways around your house like this. If you've got to go and have dinner, you've got to go and walk to the dinner table, walking sideways. And if anyone says, why are you doing that? You've just got to say, Stampy told me to, and then everyone's going to understand. <laughs> anyway, in my last video, I forgot to go and pick a dog, and I am not going to make the same mistake today. So I'm going to go and head down to my dog house and uh, decide which dog is going to be joining me uh, in this video. I think I'm going to go for the Duncan and Mittens combo. And if you don't know, Duncan and Mittens are very, very close friends. And so uh, they always like to, to be taken together. And Mittens is, she's not out there. Is she up in her bedroom? Hello, Mittens. Right, you can come and join me. There we go, she's standing up. So she's gonna uh, follow after me. And then I'm gonna go and pick up Duncan, who will be in the doghouse. And then, oh, nope. <laughs> uh, Mittens, can you can you shut the, the gate on the balcony on your way down? Cheers. Oh, Mittens. I think she's jumped down without shutting the gate. Oh, Mittens, you've left the gate open. I don't think anyone's gonna get through. 
through it, to be fair, seeing as, <laughs> yeah, seeing as it is about three stories high, but you could have shut it behind you. Anyway, whoa, 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 Lee, Lee, don't come in, don't come in, Lee, do not come in, there are creepers, there are creepers in the doghouse, lots and lots of creepers, why are the googlies invading my home? My lovely world is supposed to be googly free, be very careful coming in there, Lee, I've already dealt with two creepers, and look, the dogs aren't happy, they're all grumbling about it, and I don't blame them, to be honest, why, why, why are all of them getting in here, anyway, uh, I think Duncan, you're the one with the, the black colour, aren't you, boy? Is that right? I'm just going to double check here. I do sometimes forget. I'm sure Duncan had the, the black collar. Yeah, Duncan black collar. I remembered. And I should have guessed anyway, because that is the dog that Mittens ran straight to. And we're okay, Lee. Lee, there's no one up there. Oh, no, watch out. There's a bone dropping down. Oh, no. And there's evil pork chops attacking. Quick, get them, Lee. Get them. The evil bones and pork chops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, anyway, let's go. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you there, Lee. We're all fine. Alright, let's still have our, our wits about us as we, we go and wander around, though. I don't know why all of the googlies invaded. That actually gave me a massive fright when I saw them coming towards me. <laughs> anyway, oh, careful, guys. Careful of the cacti. Careful of the cacti. Please, please, careful. Ooh, that scared me there. Yeah, so what we're going to be building today, as I'm sure you can see by the title of the video, is Harrison's Hangout. And in the last episode, we built on top of Harrison's Hill. And you can see that cottage up there. That is where Harrison is going to live, and Harrison uh, is the uh, the NPC villager, uh, the testificate uh, that has recently uh, been turned into a human from being a zombie, and uh, I'm building him a house as a surprise. And so what we did is in the last episode we built a, a very nice but rather plain looking uh, house, and Lee, do you know where Larry is? Do you know where your dog is at all? You don't know where Larry is? When was the last time you saw Larry? In the, in the last episode. Okay. Well, I've just spotted Larry, and I, I'm looking at him right now. Do you want to try and find where your dog is? Do you want to try and look for him? Your dog is on the roof, Lee. Lee, your dog is on the roof of the building. Has he been sitting up there? All right, you need to take better care of your animals. I know I'm not one to speak, but <laughs> he's just been sitting on the roof. Has he been Harrison's guard dog? Or maybe he could live with Harrison in Harrison's hangout. That could be quite cool. I don't think Harrison has a dog. Anyway. Yes, yeah, so this is what we built in the last episode, and we've not uh, really changed it since then. Uh, but the big surprise is that if I pull this lever, it opens up a little pit down here, and we can go down to a little cave inside here. We've basically uh, tunneled out all of Harrison's Hill, and uh, this is where we're going to build uh, Harrison's Hangout. And there's going to be all sorts of cool, funky things in here, and it's basically going to look like a really nice, luxurious hangout. And there's going to be uh, a big, long table here, so Harrison can have dinner parties, and he's going to have a big armchair down here, uh, as well as a desk and things as well so he can do any work that he needs to do and uh, not that he's going to do any work to be honest none of us do any work around here <laughs> and i think the the most glamorous uh floor you can have uh, is probably red it's quite a, a royal color red isn't it so uh, we're going to go and cover the entire floor uh with red wool and then the walls are going to be quite interesting. I wanted white walls, and I always like the, the look of snow, and it's also very easy to get snow, so <laughs> I'm going to have the, the snow made out of walls. Uh, but we're then going to use spruce wood uh, as pillars, uh, like wooden pillars going up the the, uh, the walls and along the ceiling as well in quite a cool pattern. And uh, yeah, that's going yeah, so to be the walls and the, the ceiling done. And I have already run out of red walls, so that wasn't <laughs> a very good start, but hopefully Lee's got enough. If not, uh, we can go in and uh, snip some sheep to try and get some more. And so while you're doing that, Lee, I'm going to make a start on the walls. Actually, what I might do, I might actually do like a... um kind of like a, like a banister around the outside. And right, Lee, I've made a crafting table. I'm placing down the crafting table here. Once again, we're supposed to only make one crafting table all video. And Mittens, uh, do you want to come over here? Come over here, Mittens, and you can come and sit next to Duncan. No, up here. Up here, Mittens. No, that's not Duncan. That's Larry. That's it. You can come and sit down. <laughs> Go and hop up. Hop up, Mittens. Come on. Come on, girl. No, are you going to stay down there? There we go. You two can sit together out of the way there. And so, yeah, I'm going to try and make some, some spruce planks. And I'm going to do this all around the outside here, kind of like a, a skirting board. And then I'm going to do all the, the white uh, snow above that. And then I'm going to do the, the pillars all in between that. And then, uh, yeah, once we've started doing the walls, I might switch and go and start uh, adding in some of the, the furniture and things. And be careful of my cat there. You nearly chopped her tail off. <laughs> you can't have a cat without a tail. Well, maybe you can have a cat without a tail. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to go and place this around the outside. Lee, if you start just putting the snow uh, all along up for the walls, I'll start doing the furniture. And then at the end of the video, uh, I'm going to go and add all of the, the, the supports, all of the, the pillars. And uh, at some point, we're going to get rid of this horrible cobblestone as well that you're going to use to get in because, yeah, I don't want this to look like cobblestone. Uh, so right, let's go and start building the um, 
Oh no, I should have left that crafting table there actually. Let's just put the, the crafting table in the corner somewhere so uh, that way it's going to be out of the way. And uh, what, what, what shall I do for the table? I might use, I might use birch. Some birch planks because, um, uh, yeah, I don't really use birch for very much. So let me build this along here. And I think I need to come up with a funny way of saying birch as well. I mean, I say spruce like spruce, but, but I could say birch really high pitched instead. I could go like birch, birch. <laughs> it sounds like a bird calling or something, doesn't it? Birch, birch. I say birch like that. And I say spruce like spruce. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I can have the, the chair down here. I might actually make this one further back or is it going to be very cramped, but. Uh, I think I'm just going to use some uh, some oak stairs. And uh, do I need to come up with a funny way to say oak as well? I think I say oak too often for me to have to say it in a silly way. But yeah, these can be chairs all the way around the outside. And then we're going to put signs on the, the side of the chairs uh, just to make them, them look like proper chairs with armrests. So uh, you need to leave a gap uh, for the signs to go in. And so if I extend this out one more here, then I can have a, another chair here. So it's going to be a very big table. And maybe uh, in the next episode, once this is all finished, we could all come down uh, for a dinner party that's what we should do lee we should have like a, a surprise welcoming party for him if we invite harrison over then we could all be sitting down here waiting and we go surprise and shout surprise to him then we all have a dinner party right sorted that is going to be what the the plan is for the next video uh, but let's go and finish off some of these um uh, some of these uh, chairs along here. So let me just go and make a, a whole load of signs and then all you need to do is go and plonk them on <laughs> on the top like that. There we go. Here's my amazing chair. Put them on the sides like that is what I meant to do. Then these are going to look like uh, proper chairs that you can actually go and sit down on. And actually something else that I want to do uh, to make the table look a bit nicer and a bit grander is I'm actually going to put a tablecloth on it. And the way you make it look like you're doing a tablecloth is by using carpet. And look at Mittens being a good girl sitting on the chair down there. The dogs are just grumbling like crazy. I think they're fed up with all of the googlies coming and attacking. Right, excuse me, Duncan. Let me just uh, go here and put down that sign there. Do you want to come and sit on this chair here, Duncan? Have I got any chance of sliding you along? Or I think I think he just wants to sit next to Mittens, which is annoying because I'm trying to place a sign there, but it doesn't matter too much. So here we go. Uh, here, here are my tables and chairs. Uh, so let me go and um, make some carpets. And uh, then I can, um, yeah, I can, I can use that as the, the tablecloth. So where are carpets? Uh, I think, should I just do white? I think white is probably the, the traditional uh, colour for a, a tablecloth. So let me go and, oh, nope. <laughs> I didn't mean to have floating tablecloth. Yes, yeah, so let me go and place that uh, all over the top like here. And then this is our nice table and chairs. I, I like that. I think that that does look quite cool. So let's go and add a, a bit more furniture around here. And this looks good, by the way, though. This looks really awesome. So imagine, like, what it looks like on this side, uh, but around the entire room. And let me just put a few torches up as well, just so we can see what we're doing. And uh, I think I'm going to go and build the, uh, the armchair down here. So uh, I think I'll use... I'll use dark green wool for this and if I build it like this and then all I need to do is do a half slab of something down there so I think that's going to look nice and comfy um I guess it's going to have to be wood because that's all I've really got on me uh, let's go and use uh I, actually I might use um some smooth stone if I make a, a furnace very quickly and I just go and plonk the, the furnace down there. Then I just need to cook literally one piece, I think, or maybe two pieces of cobblestone. Uh, I'll put a few in anyway, just in case I need smooth stone for something else. I might go and put a few more in. Uh, then, yeah, then I can go and make a, um, a smooth half slab. And uh, I can put that down there. And then that's going to uh, look like the, the cushion for the armchair. I can put down another half slab here as like a little like uh, arm uh, footrest or something maybe. Or just like a, a little table. And then over here I think I might make a desk. I should, I might make like a, um, a bookcase. If I make some bookcases and put some doors on. It will look like a proper bookcase. And I think... Uh, I do have some some spare books up here. Basically, at the oh, gotta jump up and try and this isn't the easiest way to get out. There we go. <laughs> I think I had some spare books. Here we go. I got some spare books in here. This is where I dumped all of the the leftover things from the the last episode. And uh, if I go down, I can make these into uh, bookcases. Then if I do some stairs as well, I can go and uh, put them on the front. So let me go uh, down here and hopefully I'm gonna have enough wood for this. Uh, yep, I got absolutely loads of it. And uh, let me go and try and find bookcases. So I need one, two, three, four. And uh, then I need to make uh, two doors as well. So one, two, three, four, and a uh, couple doors. And then uh, if I throw away this gunpowder, I should be able to pick them up. 
And uh, no, I think Lee picked up one of them. There we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, so let's go put this down so I can empty out my inventory a bit. As always, my pockets are getting completely filled. And oh, nope, I placed that in the wrong place. I need to get it so it's kind of like that. There we go. And then if I go and place the other one down next to it here. And then if I put the, the bookcases behind it, uh, then there we go. This looks like a, a little wardrobe full of bookcases. This will be good for all of his reading. And I might actually put, some, uh, put something on the top of it as well. I might do some... Uh, some maybe some oak half slabs uh, to put on the top of it. So let me go and make uh, myself uh, a couple of them. Uh, there we go. Well, I've got six of them. And then if I go and grab this smooth stone, I'll try and make some some smooth half slabs as well. There we go. And so I can go and finish off the, the armchair. So if I just go and switch this round, I can go and plonk that down there. There we go. So that is my lovely armchair. And then if I go like this and go plonk. Oh, nope, that's not right. That is not right. It needs to be it needs to be underneath it. If I do that, can I then break away the top one or is that just not going to work? Nope. <laughs> I think if I jump and look down, there we go and do that. There we go. I think that does actually look quite good. So uh, all I need to do now here is uh, do a desk. And I've actually got uh, quite a cool way of doing a desk. But first, uh, what I really want to do is make a chest so I can empty out my pockets a little bit because <laughs> they are getting completely filled up. So let me just go and uh, empty out quite a lot of the, the things that I don't really need. Uh, I might keep the oak. I might actually use these uh, oak stairs for uh, the desk as well. So uh, the way I'm going to do this is by using... Actually, I think I need those half slabs as well for the desk as well. Those oak half slabs. So let me go and... Uh, oh, where were all my half slabs gone? Have I thrown them away somewhere? Did I drop them down? I'm sure I had like six of them or something. Um, okay, well, I'll, I'll just go and make some more, I guess, then. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you a really cool way of uh, making a desk, which I uh, worked out the other day. So, uh, basically, you need to use upside-down stairs. So, it's a little bit awkward to build in this way, uh, but it does uh, look pretty cool once you've done it. So, all I need to do is I need to dig down here a little bit. And then if I place uh, any old block... Um, up here. Are you okay, Mittens? Oh, did you hurt Mittens? Oh, <laughs> it's okay, Mittens. It's okay. He didn't mean to hurt you. Uh, you're probably just a little bit in the way. You can come over here. You can come follow me for a bit, Mittens, if you want. And so, yeah, if I place any old block there, and then if I go and dig my way down here, I can place some upside down stairs. I think I need to do it this way around. There we go. This is perfect. So if I go and uh, break my way back out here, and uh, I go and fill in that carpet again, and so you can see it looks a little bit like like the like a table leg of a desk. And so if you then do a half slab there and do the same on the other side, uh, then you've got yourself a, a little desk. And then so I'm just going to put uh, another oak chair in front of it like I did the others. And so I just need to go and dig down here and then dig down here and here. And then once again, just put any old block on top just as a, as a marker. And then I need to go and put these other stairs, which will be around this way, I think. There we go. And then I can go and try and hop my way back out. And uh, oh no, I think I've run out of red wool now. Let me go grab some more red wool from, the ch from this chest. Oh, there we go. I've got exactly what I need. Just one piece down there. Uh, so I can go and... Oop! <laughs> I turned around and there was a massive block in my face there, Lee. Be careful. And try and do the... Um, Try and do them so they're going along sideways rather than the way you're doing them. And then that will look pretty cool. Lee's been doing amazing this episode. I love the way I kind of just left him to do all of the hard work and I do all the fun little things. But we, we're a good team, Lee. We're a good team. And here we go. Look at that. Isn't that like a, a little a little cool writing desk? So if I go and um, put this down here, this can be the, the chair. And uh, I've still got a, a few signs on me so I can put uh, one of them either side. I put one down there. And uh, one down there. Here's his, here's his little desk. And I might do some some flowers and things as well to put around the, the place. Um, I think I have got some some bricks on me. Yeah, I got 24 bricks on me. So if I go uh, over here, I can make myself um, a few little plant pots. And I can go and put them around the place. And then if I can go picking some flowers, I can go and put them around. And where where are our plant pots? Are they in decorations? Oh, here they are. Uh, so let me make a few of these. And uh, <laughs> that lovely scaffolding around the place there. And so I might put one down there that I can put a flower on and I might do a, a couple blocks either side here and I could maybe put something in there. I might try and do like some garden plants and Mittens, do you want to sit in the armchair? There we go. You can sit down in the armchair there, Mittens. <laughs> it might be a little bit big for you but it looks cool though. It looks cool. So if I do a plant pot there and a plant pot there, I might actually get some saplings and uh, do it as if he's got some, some potted plants either side of him. So let me go uh, up here and see if I can track down some flowers if I can actually get out. And I'm going to go and grab my sword already because I think it's just becoming morning so there might be some googlies around the place still. And look, I can see some, I can see some yellow flowers down here. So let me go and uh, go and grab one of these. 
and I can put that on the desk. And uh, then I just need to get some saplings. There should be some uh, up over here by my tree farm. So uh, in the chest over here, it's normally full of saplings. So I can just go and uh, grab some of these and I can go and do them as some potted plants. There we go. I've got one uh, spruce one and uh, an oak one here as well. So I can go and put them in the plant pots and uh, have some nice potted plants. Harrison is going to love this. And my only worry is the fact is the uh, the fact that we still need to get Harrison over here somehow. <laughs> We're going to have to build a massive minecart track all the way from wherever he is over to here and that's going to be the the most difficult thing. Also, I want to build like a staircase. I want to build a, a nicer way of getting up and down from here as well. So that's going to be uh, what we're going to be working on in the next video before we have the the big unveiling to Harrison to show his house and his uh, hangout and uh, yeah, before we have the the big party. But let me go and uh, put in some of my plants. Uh, so I'm going to go and put down the spruce sapling down here and then the oak sapling down there. And if I go and grab this yellow flower, I can place that down here. I might give him a, I might give him a, a computer as well. I might go and give him a laptop. If I go and uh, make a, a, a stone pressure plate and... Uh, oh, I need to go grab the rest of my smooth stone. Did I use it all? I think I've already used all of my smooth stones. So let me go and uh, smelt a little bit more of that so I can make a pressure plate. And then if I make a painting as well, uh, I'll show you a, a really cool way how you can make it look like someone has a computer. So if I go and make some more sticks, uh, I should have some wall on me. If not, I'm going to go and grab... Uh, another piece of wall and uh, then I can make a little painting and so the painting will look like the screen and then the the, the smooth stone uh, pressure plate uh, that will look like the the keyboard so let me go and uh, make one of these and if I go and plonk down that there that will be the keyboard and then that will be the computer and um, Larry did you want to sit on that desk or nope you're gonna sit under the desk are you and whoa look at that screen that is a massive screen that is not what I was after I want to get one of the the little ones nope that's not what I was after either I need one of the the one block big paintings nope really am I not gonna get a small one really am I gonna keep getting these massive ones come on one little one Please, one little one. Nope. <laughs> How long is this going to go on for? How unlucky am I being to not get a little one? Oh, no, I got a little one, then I broke it by accident. <laughs> I was just in the mood of breaking them. There we go. There we go. There's the, the little computer down there. I could even put a lever down there as like a joystick or something. That would look cool, wouldn't it, Larry? <laughs> uh, anyway, there's a sign up here. Uh, is that right? Weird little face. Um, yeah, that, that looks pretty much right. Oh no, Lee, you hit me, you hit me, Lee. Oh no, oh no, look, my dog's, my dog's going after you. Sit down. Oh no, 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 Larry's going after me. Larry's going after me. No, and I burned to death. <laughs> oh dear, well that was a little bit of a dramatic end to the video. <laughs> it had been quite tame up until then. Sadly though, that is going to be the end of the video there. Oh no, no, I've lost all of my levels as well. I'm going to have to go back and pick all of that up. <laughs> I'm going to have to try and get all of my levels back up again. Oh well, that doesn't matter. So we pretty much uh, finished uh, Harrison's hangout. So in the next episode, uh, we're going to go and try and get Harrison over to Harrison Hill and uh, we can have the big party. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video here. I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. 